Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode of Tactic Tester. If you've liked this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button because it helps me out. We're currently one sub away from hitting 50. So go smash that subscribe button and let's get started. All right, and today we are playing with Liverpool. We're gonna play in, of course, the Premier League, the Club World Championship, the Champions League, European Super Cup, the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, and the Community Shield. So lots of games, it's gonna be interesting. And this is the tactic that we're going with, a 4-3-3. We're starting off with Allison Becker as a goalkeeper on the fend. Then we've got two fullbacks on attack. On the left, we've got Andrew Robertson, of course, and on the right, we've got Wonder Kid, Trent Alexander-Arnold. We've got two ball playing defenders in the center. Our ball playing defender stopper is Virgil van Dijk. And next to him on the left, he've, he's got Joe Gomez. In the midfield, we've got Fabinho as a deep line playmaker on defense. And he is joined by Georgino Wijnaldum as a Mazala on attack. And on his other side is Nabi Keita as a box to box midfielder. Moving one line forward, we've got on the left side Sadio Mane playing as an inside forward on attack, and on the right we've got, of course, Mohamed Shala as a inside forward on attack as well. Surprise there. And up top as a deep line forward on attack, we've got Bobby Firmino. We're playing with a positive mentality, and in possession we have very playing very narrow, passing into space, and play out the defense. More direct passing with a higher tempo and uh, they've got to hit them early crosses and in transition we're going to counter press and counter distribute it quickly and becker has to distribute it to the playmaker so he's got to play to fabinho who then got to sort out who he's going to pass it to out of possession we've got a higher line of engagement a higher defensive line and uh, we have more urgent pressing on and prevent short keeper distribution so opposition goalkeeper is here. Oh no, Bobby is pressing. Let's put it back forward. And then he tries to whip it over. And then we've got our back forward there. All right, let's get to the end of the season. Let's see how we've All done. All right, it's now the end of the season. And as you can see, we finished second, unfortunately, missing out on two points. And um, what's even more trouble is that we scored the most goals and we conceded the least amount of goals. We scored a total of 81 goals in the league and we conceded only 21, which is incredible if you ask me. We scored 10 goals more than both Arsenal and United and City, Chelsea, Tottenham down there. So that's incredible. Conceded 21 goals, three less than United. We didn't keep the most clean sheets. We had 20 clean sheets, which is still okay. Tackling completion, 88%, so uh, joint, joint first. We have the 17 most fouls made, so that's pretty good. I like that. Average possession is 48%. All right, not too shabby, I'll take it. Passing accuracy, 86%, pretty good. Uh, Heather's one only 59% so that's not too good crossing completion ratio is down in 12 with 18% and shooting accuracy is also 48% that's that's a shame I don't like that but still pretty good however overall top goal scorer is Harry Kane and then Vardy with one goal less and Bobby is also in joint second with 21. Sadio Mane is down there with 19. Good. The least conceded does go to Allison, of course. Only conceded 16 goals in 34 games. Good. I like that. He has also the second most amount of clean sheets. Key tackles not in there. Most tackles per 90 minutes. Nope. Distance covers per 90 minutes. No, most dribbles. Yeah, fourth. Most a lot. 
with 5.52 tech, uh, dribbles per minute. Mosala also had four, no, no, not 14. He had 12 assists, which means he is fourth. Key passes not in there, and best at hitting target not in there as well. I do see here that Bobby also has the joint first player of the match awards games won. We won 25 games. I like that. Austin Villa lost 23 down. That is not too good. And if we look overall, we yeah, we just lost out two more games than United did. That's a shame. Uh but still I like it. I like it. If we have a look down here, Sadio Mane top goal scorer, 31 goals overall. Bowie is in second with 27. And this surprises me a lot because Mosala has only scored 14 goals. But I've got saves in which he scored 30 or 35 goals in a season. In over 50 or 60 goal, 60 games. So that's, I don't know what happened there. And in fourth is Nabi Keita. And as we see, Virgil van Dijk is actually in sixth position for most goal scores. That's pretty good. If you look by assists, then Salah is in the lead with 15. We've got Robertson with 13, joined by Alexander Arnold with also 13. Mane got 12, and Wijnaldum got nine assists, and Bobby got eight assists. Pretty good. I like it. And if we have a look at the schedule. Let's see how we started out the season. Pretty good with a community shield win over Manchester City. Fabinho scoring a penalty, which won it for us. Then first game of the Premier League started and we lost. Oh no, we drew 4-4 with Watford scoring in the 94th minute. That's a shame. We lost the Euro Cup in the European Super Cup on extra time. But we did beat West Ham, Burnley, drew with Tottenham. One against Brighton, lost against Benfica, which is a shame. One against Bournemouth, Chelsea, Crystal Palace, Atlanta, Sheffield United, Manchester City again, and then we lost against Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League. And after that, we drew 0 0 with United. We then beat Norwich in the Carabao Cup, we lost against Leicester, lost against Dortmund again, one against Chelsea, and drew with Austin Villa, shame. One against Benfica, one against Newcastle, Arsenal was beaten, Southampton was beaten, we drew with Atalanta, then beat Everton, beat Al Sat in the Club World Championship semi finals, and then we won 1 0 over uh, Palmeiras in the final. So we won that, it's pretty good. We won against Wolves, we um, lost against United, unfortunately. We lost against Arsenal in the quarterfinals of the Caribou Cup. Won in the FA Cup third round. Lost in the Premier League for some reason against Sheffield United. And then we went on and beat Crystal Palace, drew a City, lost against Wolves. Won against Brighton in the FA Cup. Uh, won against Norwich. Won against West Ham. Watford was beaten. Dynamo Kiev in a friendly. Lost to Ajax in the Euro Cup first round. Then one against Norwich, then we beat Ajax 3-0 in the Euro Cup second leg of the first round, which meant we were through. One against Leeds in the FA Cup fifth round, lost against Southampton, won 5-1 against Wolves in the Euro Cup second round. Beat Arsenal, drew with Wolves then, which meant we were going through on goals a lot. Scored six against them. And we only conceded two. That's pretty good. Beat Tottenham in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Drew with Newcastle. Euro Cup quarterfinals first leg. Lost against Roma 1-0. Seems a, to be a, a theme. Theme. We then beat Leicester. Won against Roma 4-0 in the second leg. The FA Cup semi-finals came around and we beat Manchester United. We won against Austin Villa. Won against Tottenham. Then we had to play Bayer Leverkusen, won that one 3-2 with late goals from both Mane and Havertz. Beat Burnley, beat Chelsea, and then we drew with Leverkusen in the second leg. But 
we won the first one six men we went through then we drew with Bournemouth one against Everton and then we lost against Brighton and to be honest if we did win that game we probably would have won we beat Leicester on penalties or we won the Premier League we beat Leicester on penalties in the uh, FA Cup final and we won the Euros the Euro Cup after extra time against Manchester United so overall not too shabby won quite a lot lost some things but still happy with the way everything went um, so yeah uh, this was the tactic quite like it yeah sure some things could have worked out a bit better but um, yeah go use it and uh, let me know what you think about it and uh, if it worked for you so that was it for now see you later